He was um, touching me in places where he shouldn't have been touching me. All new tonight, a Southwest Florida woman coming forward claiming she too was raped by a former nurse at the Cape Coral Hospital. As we've reported, the suspect in this case, Giovanni Echeverria, was fired after he was accused of raping and threatening another patient last summer. But he hasn't officially been charged and he is still legally allowed to work as a nurse in the state of Florida. Four in your corner, Stephanie Tinoco broke this story months ago and now she's speaking with a second alleged victim and getting her hands on a new report detailing the initial case. Stephanie. Well, Amy, the woman you're about to hear from tells me she was 18 at, 18 at the time, and she says that she's been having nightmares of that night of her hospital room. It's a real life nightmare. He was um, touching me in places where he shouldn't have been touching me. Brianna Hammer has been wrestling for two years. He told me that um, it's okay. No one will know. There's no cameras. Don't worry. And then he got on top of me. Hammer was a patient at Cape Coral Hospital. Giovanni Echevarria was her nurse. And everyone should know about him. Earlier this year, we aired a story after the Department of Health placed an emergency restriction on Echevarria's nursing license for allegedly raping a 43-year-old patient. It happened to me in 2015 from the same person, and I was wondering, you know, why was he still working? after what he did to me. Records show Hammer filed a report with Cape Coral Police when she was 18 years old with similar claims. She says back then, Cape Police didn't take her complaint seriously. The male officer looked into my face the whole time I was talking to him like I was lying or I didn't know what I was talking about. This police report shows the officer states Hammer had many inconsistencies with her story and that because of her poor account of what happened and a lack of evidence, he believed no crime took place. The state attorney's office denied a warrant request for Echevarria's arrest. Two years later, Hammer is sitting with me recounting what happened. So I was under strict orders. You couldn't come into my room unless you were wearing a gown, gloves, and a mask. He was wearing all those things when he was doing the things to me. Hammer tells me at the time she told the police officer, a hospital supervisor and a security officer, there was evidence that may have been helpful during their investigation. They said that they were gonna go speak to the nurse themselves and they'll be right back. Five minutes after they left, a cleaning lady came in the room and she took the garbage out. I told her to leave the garbage because it needed to stay there and she said, oh, I need to take it out. I couldn't get out of the bed because I had an IV in me and for some reason, they couldn't find that bag of garbage out of the whole hospital. This transcript between Echevarria and a detective shows Echevarria says he thought Hammer was trying to sue the hospital for personal gains and denied any and all allegations. He was back at work one week later. We went to Echevarria's home to get his side of the story. We wanted to talk to you about the allegations, two allegations. There were two cars in the driveway, but no one answered. We want to give you an opportunity to share your side of the story. Now, I did reach out to Lee Health, and a spokesperson tells me that they take any allegations seriously. They did report this to Cape Coral Police back in March 2015, but, quote, she says, when this allegation was investigated, get investigated, the police found that no crime was committed. Reporting live in Cape Coral, Stephanie Tinoco, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Stephanie. Well, the city of Naples is drastically cutting a man.